Winning the Mutianang Pilipinas crown has proven to be a life-altering experience to many of our past winners. You don't have to make it sound so <laughs> ominous, Calvin. Sorry. But one thing's for sure, um, the victor cannot expect to be the same person the morning after the pageant. It's a wild, fun ride. And the best way to deal with it is to have fun, right? And the fun begins with the prizes that come along with the title. For outshining everybody else and finishing on top, the new Mutianang Pilipinas Asia Pacific will take home these prizes. Added to the prestige and the admiration that goes with the Mutianan Pilipinas title holders, she gets to bring home the following prizes. A matched 11mm light champagne South Sea pearl earring stud, together with a 12mm South Sea pearl pendant in 18 karat gold setting, enhanced with top quality diamonds from jeweler, fine jeweler and South Sea pearl producer. A year membership to keep her fit at Planet Fitness. She also gets the Mutianam Pilipinas crown and scepter impeccably created by Ocampos Gemologists and Jewelers Incorporated. The new Mutianam Pilipinas will receive footwear fit for the fairest lady of the land from Alberto Shoes. Matabungkai Beach Resort and Hotel awards the Mutianam Pilipinas 2000 a relaxing stay for three days and two nights absolutely free. A whole year supply of beauty essentials, Lux, Close-Up, Ponds, and Cream Silk from Unilever Philippines. Mutiana Pilipinas 2000 also wins from Sulu Hotel a free stay for seven days. Triumph that's forever etched in a glass trophy by Angeli. Avon rewards the new queen with beauty products that will enhance her natural charm. A three days and two nights stay at the majestic Tagaytay Highlands. And a 150,000 peso cash award from Carousel Productions Incorporated for the lady who will inherit the Mutianang Pilipinas crown. We started with 25 candidates and pruned them down to 10. And now is the time to determine the, um, what they call in French, the creme de la creme of this year's candidates with the announcement of the five finalists. That's right. But before we do that, I have a great piece of news. All our five finalists are automatically winners. They will be competing in international pageants. Of course, our Mutiana Pilipinas will be competing in the Miss Asia Pacific pageant. The runners-up will be chosen to compete in any of the following. The Queen of Clubs, which will be held in Singapore. Miss Tourism International in Malaysia. Queen of the Year also in Malaysia. And Miss Intercontinental in Germany. That's right. So when we trimmed them down actually to five, they're all considered winners already. That's, That's correct. Right. Yeah. All right. Now we're ready to announce our five finalists. And may we have the envelope, please, from the SGV. Again, we'd like to remind everyone, we will be announcing the names of our five finalists in no particular order. Good luck, ladies. This is the moment of truth. Mr. Montes, nakasisigurado ba kayo na walang I love you dito pag basa ko? Sigurado, <laughs> sigurado. Okay. Our first finalist is candidate number 16, Maria Esperanza Manzano. Our second finalist, and you guys have to be noisy now. Our second finalist is candidate number number two, Macbeth Abuzo. Congratulations. And our third finalist, any guesses? Audience? 
Yeah, I think I heard it. Candidate number five, Christine De Jesus. Christine De Jesus, congratulations. We're down to two. And our next finalist is candidate number number 10, Josephine Canonizado. Congratulations. The lucky one to join the roaster of five. I'm as nervous as you are, guys. She is, before I announce that, I would like to congratulate all of you girls. You've made it this far. Congratulations. Our fifth finalist is candidate number four, Marie Pearl Akas. This year's finalists, one of whom will soon be crowned our Mutya ng Pilipinas Asia Pacific 2000. And the last step in deciding which one of these five ladies will be our new queen is up next. It's the final question and answer portion when Mutya ng Pilipinas 2000 returns. While our five finalists begin with equal footing at this point, this last round of competition should determine once and for all who will be this millennium's very first Mutya ng Pilipinas Asia Pacific. One by one, our candidates will be answering the same final question. But before that, ladies, I must ask you to move towards the back and put on your headsets while candidate number 16 is answering our first question. Our first finalist is candidate number 16. She is Maria Esperanza Manzano. We're playing rock music with that, so they won't be able to hear the question I'm asking. This is your question, Esperanza. Please listen carefully. Let me finish the question first. And question is, with so many problems affecting the country right now, how would you convince the world that the Philippines is still a country of great beauty and beautiful people? Let me repeat that. With so many problems affecting the country right now, how would you convince the world that the Philippines is still a country of great beauty and beautiful people? First, I would convince the people around, all around the world that the Philippines is living in one nation. Regardless of their religion, we are still living in a very peaceful manner. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is candidate number 16, Maria Esperanza Manzano. I would like to call our next finalist is candidate number 2, Macbeth Abuzo. Let's give her a warm round of applause. Thank 
please uh, listen carefully. This is the question. With so many problems affecting the country right now, how would you convince the world that the Philippines is still a country of great beauty and beautiful people? I would just like to repeat that. With so many problems affecting the country right now, how would you convince the world that the Philippines is still a country of great beauty and beautiful people? Hey, people of the world, world, pardon me. Can you see the Philippines? All the people are very beautiful. Our economy is still growing, and it's also increasing. And nothing bad is happening. We're still good. And you, you can say that we're going down. That's how I can convince them. Very encouraging. Thank you very much. That's candidate number two, Macbeth Abuzo. Now I'd like to call our next finalist, candidate number five, Christine De Jesus. Let's give her a round of applause. Please take center stage and listen to the question carefully. I'll repeat it for you if you want. All right. With so many problems affecting the country right now, how would you convince the world that the Philippines is still a country of great beauty and beautiful people? Again, with so many problems affecting the country right now, how would you convince the world that the Philippines is still a country of great beauty and beautiful people? She's actually trying to show you that she is the beauty, all right? Okay, let me, I'll give you time to think about that. Would you like me to repeat the question again? All right, okay, we'll do that for you. With so many problems affecting the country right now, how would you convince the world that the Philippines is still a country of great beauty and beautiful people? Behind all the problems that uh, the, our country, Philippines, is facing right now. Uh, I could still tell other countries that Filipinos, the Philippines, our country, is, has a product, a lot of products, has a lot of beauty, <laughs> he possesses um, things of uh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> In your own little way, let's say if you were, if you, you became a winner tonight, ano ba yung ano, ano ba yung mga bagay na pwede mong gawin para i-convince ang ating mga, you know, ating mga bisita sa ibang bansa na napakaganda pa rin ng Pilipinas? Um, okay, I'll repeat my answer. Behind all the problems that the Philippines, our country, is now facing, I could still tell and invite other people from other country um, to our country because um, our, our country, Philippines, uh, possess a lot of beautiful places, beautiful faces, and uh, that's all, thank you. We'll give her to that. How about a big round of applause? Thank you very much. That is candidate. Number five, Christine De Jesus. Thank you very much. We move on to our next finalist, candidate number 10, Josephine Canonizado. <laughs> Josephine, please take center stage. And uh, please listen to the question carefully. Quiet, please. Here's the question. With so many problems affecting the country right now, how would you convince the world that the Philippines is still a country of great beauty and beautiful people? Would you like me to repeat the question? With so many problems affecting the country right now, how would you convince the world that our country, the Philippines, is still of great beauty and with beautiful people? I guess I will convince the world that the country, Philippines, is still a great and beautiful place by um, maybe by telling them how great the Philippines is 
And despite the fact that the Philippines is actually experiencing a lot of economic problems, I guess I can just tell them and tell the world that with our spirituality and, um, and with our spirituality, I guess, the, the Philippines will surpass the problems that we have. So um, I, I will encourage them not to lose faith in the Philippines because I know that the Philippines will attain its progress. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well said. Spirituality prayer. Thank you very much. That's candidate number 10, Josephine Canonizado. Thank you. And our last finalist is candidate number four, Marie Pearl Akas. Marie, just relax, stay here with me, and this is your question. Please listen carefully. With so many problems affecting the country right now, how would you convince the world that the Philippines is still a country of great beauty and beautiful people? Would you like me to repeat the question for you? With so many problems affecting the country right now, how would you convince the world that the Philippines is still a country of great beauty and beautiful people? Well, first, I'll begin it within myself. I'll be a role model to each and every one. Then I'll encourage our local government officials to do some programs that will help the different regions. That's all. Thank you. A, model, a true model, that is. Candidate number four, Marie Pearl Akas. Thank you very much. Well, we've surpassed that. Well done, ladies. Now, may I ask you to offer us one last look at you before our judges decide who will be crowned Butian ng Pilipinas Asia Pacific 2000. Ladies, the stage is yours.
Congratulations, Presenting the fourth runner-up trophy are Norberto Timbal, chairman of MassCom, and Miss Lorna Tolentino. Congratulations. Now we move on to our third runner-up, and she will be our, uh, she'll be representing us in the Miss Tourism International to be held in Malaysia. Ladies and gentlemen, third runner-up is candidate number. Candidate number 16, Maria Esperanza Manzano. Presenting the third runner-up trophy are Dr. Bibi Campo, co-founder of Mutianam Pilipinas, and Jeannie Anderson, fourth runner-up of the 1999 Mutianam Pilipinas. Maria Esperanza Manzano, our third runner-up. Moving on, our second runner-up, who will be competing, by the way, on our Queen of the Year, representing the Philippines in Malaysia. Second runner-up. Our second runner-up is candidate number five, Christine De Jesus. Presenting the second runner-up trophy are Leandro D. Enriquez, President and CEO of Sulu Hotels, and Raquel Uy, second runner-up in the 1999 Mutiana Filipinas and the reigning Queen of the Year. You can do the loudest of cheers now. Just two more names left in the envelope. We will be announcing the first runner-up, which means the last remaining candidate becomes our Mutya ng Pilipinas 2000. Before we do that, our first runner-up will be Miss Intercontinental, and she will represent the Philippines in Germany. But just a reminder on how important our first runner-up is, if for some reason our winner could not fulfill her responsibilities, or continue being Mutya ng Pilipinas, our first runner-up shall take over the crown. So brace yourselves, girls. Our first runner-up is candidate number... Candidate number four, Marie Pearl Akas. And our Mutya... Mutya ng Pilipinas 2000 is candidate number 10, ten Josephine, Josephine Canonizado. Canonizado. Congratulations to all our winners. Our first runner-up are Cherry Tomeldan McCaffrey of Avon Cosmetics Incorporated and Rowena Kilam, first runner-up in the 1999 Mutianan Pilipinas. And joining Ms. Richie Ocampo in crowning our Mutianan Pilipinas 2000 are Mr. Mars Aaron of Unilever and Ms. Margarita Tingting Cojuanjo. This has been definitely one fantastic pageant, don't you agree? And I'm so excited, I'm really so excited announcing the winners that this is going to be the beginning of a most extraordinary life for our new Mutianam Pilipinas 2000, don't you agree, Michelle? Said it, Charlie. That's end another year of the search for the most 
beautiful Filipinas by the Carousel production. Congratulations. As we reel into the year 2001, we look forward to another exciting year of Mutianang Filipinas. In the meantime, it's good night from all of us here. God bless you all. This has been Calvin Miliado. And this has been Charlie Ismael. And Michelle Aldana. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Good night. God bless you all. Good night, everybody. Thank you and good night. See you next year.